another video. In this one, we're talking about fabrics. And there are so many fabrics to talk about. So I'm gonna focus on some of the basic ones and which one to choose for certain kind of projects. I'm gonna help you ask the right questions when choosing your fabric and also some tips for when buying it. But before all of that, we need some knowledge about fabrics. So you have two types of fabrics, fiber and wave. Fiber is what the fabric is made of and wave is how the fabric is made. As an example, if we're talking about cotton satin, cotton is the fiber and satin is the wave. And when we're talking about fibers, we talk about natural and synthetics. The natural can be wool, silk or cotton and it comes from plants and animals. It's very easy to dye and it's also breathable, which can be a very good idea for a warm convention. But it's often more expensive than the other ones. Synthetics are made out of chemicals and it can be fabrics like nylon, spandex or polyester. They are often strong fabrics and wrinkle resistant but they're not easy to dye or breathable. When talking about weave, you have either woven or knit. Woven means that the threads are interlocked into each other, therefore you don't have stretch, but it makes it easier to sew with. Woven fabrics are often stiffer, which makes it easier for beginners to sew with, and they're used for structural things like jackets, shirts, and so on. In knit, the threads are weaving in between each other, and this is what gives the stretch, and also makes it harder to sew with. The stretch comes in two ways or four ways. Okay, so let's talk about some of the questions you can ask yourself when choosing the fabric for your cosplay. Do you need stretch or no stretch? Examples could be that if you're sewing a bodysuit, you want stretch there. But if you're sewing a uniform, of course you don't want the stretch. So if you need your fabric to sit tight on your body, stretch is a good idea. Next question is, how should the flow of the fabric be? Do you need it to be stiff or very flowy? You need to think about how the fabric looks like on the cosplay. When you walk or if you're in the wind, how should the flow be? Another question to ask could also be if the fabric needs to be transparent or not. Pay attention to your reference to see if there are any of the fabrics that might be see-through. Sometimes the texture of the fabric can make a huge difference. Of course, you can always just go with the plain color of the fabric, but for some cosplays from movies or series or games, paying attention to the texture of the fabric can make a huge difference. Another thing to think about is what is the outfit that the character is wearing? How would this clothes actually look like in real life? Since you're not an anime character, it actually looks better when you're trying to make clothes that looks like real clothes than something that stepped right out of an anime. If it's a uniform, it would be made out of some strong stiff fabric where a ball gown would be made out of some luxurious fabric. And again, it makes sense to think about who's actually wearing the cosplay. Is your character rich or poor? So if it's a queen, of course she would choose better fabrics than a low peasant. So let's talk about some tips for when you're actually buying the fabric. If you're ordering online, make sure to order swatches first. The color on the screen might not be the same color as the actual fabric. So order swatches in different kind of fabrics and colors so you're sure you get the right one. It's very important that when you go to the store, you're actually prepared. This means that you have done some research before going to the store. And that can be having some reference pictures on your phone or print them out or you actually search what kind of fabrics you think will suit this cosplay. But if you have a great fabric store, you can actually bring the pictures to them and ask which fabrics they think will suit the cosplay. A quick tip is to not to choose too shiny fabrics since they will actually look cheap in pictures and they're a pain in the ass to sew with. But I know it can be difficult since we cosplayers are like crows and are very attracted to shiny things. If you're buying a pattern for your cosplay, it will actually tell you what fabrics are suited for this project. When buying fabric in the store, it's a great idea to layer all of the fabrics next to each other so you are sure that they will all match together. Don't be shy to pull out the fabric to see how it flows, how the light is on it, and just get a good touch on it. Something I always do when I bought some fabric is to save the label with some of the fabric. Now I have a big collection of all the fabrics I have used, so when I need to sew a shirt or perhaps a high school skirt, I can just go look in my collection and see, oh, this fabric was quite good, so I'll use it again. But it's also great if I want to use it to a similar kind of project, then I can just take the label and see if they have it in other colors. Let's talk about a problem I ran into a lot when I started cosplaying, which is what do you do when they don't have the right color? Sometimes you can't get the exact color you needed and you need to make a compromise between the texture of the fabric and the color. But do you remember I talked about that the natural fabrics are easy to dye? Dyeing the fabric yourself 
might seem a bit intimidating, but it's actually not that difficult. So find a white natural fabric that has the right texture for you and then dye yourself to get the exact color that you want. But perhaps try with a small piece of the fabric first. For my Nana she cosplay, I bought some white fur and simply colored with tea. A great example of wanting too much the color to be the right one and not thinking so much about the fabric itself is my Dark Valkyrie Diana. I should definitely have chosen a fabric with a bit more stretch to it. Okay, so we have talked a lot about what you need to look for when choosing the fabric and how to buy it. So it's time that we actually start talking about some fabrics. If you're looking for decorated or patterned fabrics, Brocade is the one to go. But just note that this fabric can be a bit expensive. If you're looking for more flowy or transparent fabrics, Organza or Chiffon are the ones I recommend. It's a very lightweight fabric and they are great for dresses and overlays. But if you're looking for more stretchy fabrics, Knits, Scuba, Lucra and Spandex are the ones to go for. Scuba is one of my favorite fabrics. It has the stretch, but it's also a very thick fabric, which makes it perfect for a lot of projects. Scuba compared to some of the other stretch fabrics is much easier to work with. If you want to sew a kikurumi or some plushies, fleece are the best option. If you're looking for that classic kind of look in your fabric, vinyl or spandex is two good options. For fur, of course you can go for real fur, which is quite expensive and comes from animals. So I recommend fur furs, which comes in many different varieties, so I'm sure you're gonna find one that suits your cosplay. To get the leather look, again you can go with real leather, which is more expensive and comes from animals, but you can also go with leather wrap pleather or PVC clothing. For getting that volume in your dresses, I recommend tulle. It's both a very cheap fabric, but it's also very stiff and easy to handle. This way you can just layer it up to get as much volume as you need. For fabrics with that more luxurious or expensive look, I recommend silk, cotton, satin velvet, cotton velvet, suede and fair wool. So if you're hit by that sports anime hype, I recommend sports polyester or mesh ball fabric. For constructional work like jacket and pants, shirts and skirts, I recommend bi stretch bolo and twill. As an overall fabric for beginners, I recommend Cloma cotton or basic cotton. It comes in so many different colors, it's very budget friendly and it's very easy to sew with. It's a great fabric for beginners since you're still learning, so if you make any mistakes, you can just buy some more fabric or try again. That was all I had to say about fabrics. I hope this video was helpful to you. If you have any questions, don't be shy to ask them in the comments and I really hope to see you in another video. And before you ask, I have already left some recommendations for some online fabric stores in the description. 